first thing I want to talk about this week is a field trip I took yesterday. And let me show you via photographs what I did uh, up in Los Angeles at Wilshire and Fairfax, right across from the LA County Museum of Art. And one of my favorite places, the La Brea Tar Pits, uh, is the Peterson Automotive Museum. Um, it is, uh, it's new because I've been gone for so long, uh, but a, a relatively new structure and it is so very cool. I heard they had an EV one in there. There is an, you're going to see pictures of that momentarily. Uh, sorry. Sorry no, 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 not at all. Don't apologize. So like when I was a kid, the green Hornet, I mean, that was like one of my yeah. heroes and I'm sorry, here is the original black beauty. Number one from the show, from the show. And it's in the museum. Um, Very cool. Yeah. You know what? And, and I don't, I don't want to um, try to decide. Hey, this is uh, the, the like black beauty weapons control panel in the back the seat. Ejector seats and stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Because of course, Bruce Lee is uh, the chauffeur, right? While right. Uh, the green Hornet is riding in the back. Um, just really amazing uh, stuff in there. Uh, I, I, okay. Everybody knows like my two wheeler thing. One of the original Honda fifties, the uh -huh. most successful piece of transportation device ever invented. Uh, -huh. yeah, right there. Uh, a beautiful old bug, which oddly enough, oddly enough had two six by nines in boxes behind the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> like, they probably got it in their collection in the seventies. Right. Uh -huh. I, I, who who knows? Um, uh, the, the bumper, the bumper on that bug, the front bumpers. Yeah, that yeah. Was, was that a factory thing that they came like that, or no? I didn't think so. Paul would know. So somebody's taken the bumper off and just left yeah, the, should be the chrome mount, thing, right? You, the mounts. Look at this this weird four cylinder bicycle with a brass gas tank. It was just gorgeous. Um, Beautiful old uh, uh, country squire wagon. Look at the woodwork. Yeah, it's just amazing. Back when it was real wood, not a decal. Yeah, yeah, right. Not 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 textured plastic. Here's the dash of uh, a Chevrolet Royal Mail. I, it was like the, I think the first car that had a battery starter in it. Uh -huh. But look at that dashboard. That is uncluttered and pristine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's in the center. It just. Yeah. <laughs> It's just crazy. Um, so one of the really cool things is they had lots of uh, electric motorcycles. I don't know if it was a special thing or they did, but they had a whole uh, one in the of one hall had nothing but cool electric bikes. Now they had those silly uh, um, uh, Harleys. They had the live wire and then they had the Harley uh, like motor, little mini motorcycle and the motorized e-bike, which are both absolutely ridiculous when you see them up close. You're like, no, that looks silly. Um, lots of cool uh, electric two wheelers, which was fun. Um, and then here's another old one. How about that turn signal? Wow. Yeah. Come on. How can you not want a car with that turn signal? <laughs> Left, right. right. Um, <laughs> here is the Lexus from Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> with the scratch marks with the yes. scratches and the bullet holes and the scratches on the on the roof of the vehicle as well um i i guess maybe if i've seen the transformers movies i would understand what this is but i thought well that's kind of rude <laughs> you know like what's up with that uh here's another shot of black beauty again of course because you know what the hell i'm that way um i want to get to oh here we go just what Paul was saying. One of one of the few remaining EV ones is there in all its glory. Uh, there's the interior. And Man. yeah, I mean Fantastic. it's history. And yeah. again, this is the car that got me into into clean driving and EVs and everything. How can you not love that? That it was great because I thought I thought Peterson was going to be just like petrol head, you know. It's going to be race cars. It's going to be classic cars. It's going to be old cars. Instead, there was a really well, really interestingly diverse collection of electric cars and hybrids and ancient hybrids, you know, and ancient electric stuff uh, and new race cars. And it was and a lot. They have a ton of Hollywood stuff. Uh, both, yeah. 
both vehicles and props. I'm sorry, I just love those turn signals. Was that a Windows tablet? I'm sorry. Was that a Windows tablet in that display? Is that a ta oh yes? They have uh, in front of some of the cars. They have these tablets where you can get technical facts and all that. So this is a, a 1900 uh, Porsche uh, hybrid gas oh, yeah, electric the hybrid. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. 1900. There's the, there's the motor. I, I, think, I, think, I think this was the first Porsche branded uh, vehicle, wasn't it? I. You may know more than I do about that. It may be. It may be. So how many cars do you think this museum has, Russell? I don't know. That's a good question, and I can't answer it. Um, oh, a lot. Cost too. Like, could you spend the entire yeah. day and not see all of it? Um, well, you know, that's interesting. Uh, so they. Th this is uh, allegedly uh, the Shelby uh, number one hmm. uh, in a special collection. Um so the museum is broken up into a couple of uh, areas. Uh, uh, there's some stuff outside, There's and there's three floors. And then there's another area called the vault. And this has, I don't know, we didn't go in there. You have to pay extra. And it wasn't that we didn't want to, just we're like, oh, we're going we're gonna to be good seeing the regular collection. But they have a whole other collection of automobiles uh, in a basement and a small area um, upstairs on the first floor that you can't get to unless you pay this. And then that's a very time limited tour. Um, th this was really cool uh, and not to change the subject, but Audi R8, this is a sculpture they did. That's an exploded view of the R8 motor. Oh yeah. Okay. How awesome is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, just thought it was really like really cool kind of thing. And of course, that's what right. you have to do to service it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, right next to it, uh, Iron Man armor, uh, because you know, that's a car too. Yeah. Uh, you guys probably have seen this one before. Oh yes. Uh, this is the original, uh, uh, DeLorean that they made for the first back to the future sure. movie. Uh, and it is there. Here's something else that really like caught. Cause because I love this movie so much. This is the original Durango 95 from the uh, Clockwork Orange. Wow. Yeah. Look, do you see at the top? There's a rear view mirror mounted on the top of the vehicle. <laughs> I can't. One of the things that we saw, uh, uh, the observations we made going through this, a lot of these show cars, I never would ever want to drive them. I mean, this thing's like three inches off the ground, and you're yeah. just about lying back. Um, very, very cool though, to see that stuff, uh, more Hollywood stuff. Uh, and let's see what else there's Is that a, a blade runner car that, uh, they had like six cars from blade runner. Yes. Wow. Yeah. They had uh, a bunch of different spinners, uh, five, I think from the original blade runner and then one from the new blade runner film and the more futuristic looking ones before that were iRobot, right? The Audi? Uh, that's the Audi from iRobot, yes. Or the Lexus. It's, no, no, no. It's an Audi. It's an, uh, well, the near one. Yeah, the far one. Yes, the white one is uh, the Lexus from, or the Audi from but, iRobot. But they have the and then the Lexus car. that he did the manual drive. I'm sorry? The Lexus where he did the manual drive. I don't, I don't remember that. He to took over and it like had like a million warnings about <laughs> manual driving. Oh, could be. <laughs> Oh, shoot, that's Good. Human driving. <laughs> How about one of the original speeders from the first Star Wars movie? Oh, wow. Now, I mean, you wouldn't really think like, but it's, you know, it's obviously got wheels, right? Because they right. just yeah. edited yeah. those out. Yeah. But uh, it, it, nonetheless, it was a very cool, uh, a very cool time. And I would highly recommend it. If, even if you're not super into cars, if you're into like Hollywood, um, if you like all cars and you want to see like EV history and hybrid history, it is totally there. Um, great museum, fantastic place to visit. Uh, the What's Pierce, the admission? It is $16. That's not bad. We, uh, we got there about 11 and we were done about three, oh. about three thirty, three o'clock. Um, three or four bucks an hour. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I don't, I, I was thinking that they should charge 20 and they should let you visit the vault. 
So there should be more than you can see in a day so that you want to come back. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's just like my marketing head automatically thinks I want to leave people hungry. I want them to go, oh, we missed this. We got to go back and see it. Um, as it is, we felt like we saw everything in the permanent collection. We had a nice, pleasant time strolling around and seeing stuff and, and, and taking some time with it. So, yeah, it was totally cool. When in Los Angeles, make a point to visit it again, right across. It's right, actually right across the street from the brand new Ampass move, uh, Museum, which will be done later this year. Uh, Ampass is the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which uh, is opening a museum, a, a huge museum dedicated to the history of American film. Hmm. Uh, that's right next to the LA County Museum of Art. It's like Museum Row now, which is really cool. Mm -hmm.